Hey guys, nice to see you today. Um, <clears throat> hope you're doing well. Come on down to the basement. Yeah, we, we can do this. Um, today, I not filming from the kitchen table. Um, but I'm still glad to see you. I've been busy working. Um, so over the last couple days, I've been working on this project behind me. This was my workbench, and it will continue to be my workbench. But uh, for the time being, remember our seeds we planted a while back? Um, that have turned into uh, small sprouts. Well, they're still growing. They're still upstairs in the dining room, but here uh, next week, we're going to transplant them from those little pods we got to uh, little four inch pots. Um, these ones right here. And I'm gonna need some place to put them. So this is, I, what I'm building is a greenhouse. Um, and it goes from there, where I'm watching sci-fi, all the way over to here, where it uh, went. Now, I also have another table sitting right over here um, that I'm going to build another one of these greenhouses over the next day or so to uh, accommodate more plants. Um, the workbench will only hold 74, 75 plants. Um, so I can get another 50 on the table over there, <clears throat> which still isn't quite enough, but in some ways it is. Uh, as I've got, as it sits right now, we've got about 194 plants to uh, take care of, but it, uh, not all of them are ready for transplant. Some of them are in bigger pods, so they can grow in those for a while, uh, and, and they'll stay upstairs in the, in the window. Uh, with the heat, but some of the, the smaller pods that I got um, will need transplanted into those pots. So here we go. Anyhow, um, that's what I've been up to over the last couple days at any rate. And uh, what I, yeah, and between that and work and doing a little bit of work out in the wood shop. It's just been a little hectic around here and haven't been able to get out there a whole, whole lot. Um, I got two panels glued up and that was about as far as I went. Um, and it's the sides to the trash can that I'm building. Uh, if you don't know what a panel is, it's where you take smaller pieces of wood and glue them together, you know, and then uh, that makes a larger, one larger piece of wood. But I, I was just sitting down here working. I was thinking, you know, <coughs> I've been talking to a couple of my friends about depression um you know the the physical and mental act of depression and how it seems to uh be a little more common than it used to be and that i'm not certain why now because i'm no doctor you know or scientist i i don't have a degree in anything like that but i do that i do battle depression and i have for you know decades so I thought, you know, we'd been talking about it. Like I said, me and uh, a couple of my friends have been talking about it. And, you know, uh, they both battle depression and anxiety. Um, and, as a matter of fact, most of the people I know battle uh, some form of depression. So, in talking about it, I kind of wanted to share, you know, how, you know, what I believe, you know, I don't even know what caused my depression, um, but I know how I deal with it. So when I was first diagnosed with depression, and it's been um, at least 20 some years uh, that I was ago that I was diagnosed with it. And what was happening was I was losing motivation, concentration, um, I didn't want to do a whole lot of anything. Um, you know, I, I, it got to the point before I went to the doctor and that which led to another doctor, which led to several things. Um, it got to the point where, you know, it, I struggled to get out of bed or off the couch to even take a shower or eat. Um, you know, fast forward I, I, to the, to the doctor, you know, we, we figure out that I am suffering from a form of depression. I don't remember now what that form was. Um, and they immediately 
put me on an antidepressant. And, and I took it for a little while. Um, not very long, um, but a little while. So it did make me feel not depressed in this case, but it also made me feel tired and um, like I was stoned all the time. I, it wasn't, I didn't like the feeling. You know, um, those that know me know I'm not big on prescription drugs to begin with, let alone, um, I, I guess, mind-altering prescription drugs. So I thought to myself, you know, and, and what I do may not work for everybody. And the reason why I decided to talk about this um, was to maybe if you're battling that or you think you're battling that, you know, call a health professional and, and talk to him about it. Call your doctor. Um, you know, or, and if you're under the age of 18, have your parents call your doctor or talk to your parents about it. Um, because it, it can be very serious, you know, it can lead to health issues or worse. Um, but the, the things I do, I mean, this is every day, every day I do this, um, to the point where it's become second nature. Um, you know, for the longest time I had to, the minute I woke up in the morning, you know, first thing I had to do was go, okay, Smith, let's get out of bed. You know, let's do this. Let's make it happen. Um, you know, and then, yeah, and here's where even to this day, um, I, I do this because I, I don't tell myself to get out of bed anymore. Um, I just do it. I came to the realization that there's too many things in life that depend on me not being right, but getting the job done. Um, that That is how I I keep myself motivated and work through my depression. You know, and like I said, in the mornings, you know, when I get out of bed, you know, my, my first two thoughts are, I got to let the dog out, get her fed. She relies on me, you know, so I got to get that done. Um, the next thing is, is I got to make coffee. Whether I'm going to drink it or not, I have to make coffee, you know, because Chris drinks it every day. And, uh, you know, which I, there's very few days I don't have a cup. Um, I enjoy a good cup of coffee. So, you know, but there's times when I might be just not feeling up to it. And I just come downstairs and I turn the news on my laptop in the kitchen and I just sit there and I, and I got to kind of coach myself. I gotta, you know, all right, man, come on. The day isn't going to start itself. You know, I, you have to get this done. And I come to the realization, at least my dog, as my, <laughs> Sam's usually the first person I think of when I get up or first animal or thing I think of when I get up and come downstairs, you know, she relies on me to make sure she's got food and water and she's let out so she can uh, do her thing. So that usually kickstarts me. Yeah. And then, uh, by that time, you know, I've made the coffee. I, I watch, I watch about 20 minutes of the news and then I get Sarah up so we can get her off to school because she relies on me. Now she has an alarm that she sometimes gets up to a lot of times she sleeps through it, but she relies on me to make sure that, you know, I get get her up, get her moving, get her started, get her day going. She relies on me for a ride to school. You know, um, Abby relies on me to pack her lunch. Um, and Chris relies on me to get all that done because she's got other things to do while she's getting Abby ready for school. And then taking then Ab she takes Abby to school so I can get the day started. Um, that usually kicks off most of my morning motivation. Um to get me out of bed, to help me battle, you know, my depression. I, I have come to the realization it's better than taking pills. Uh, in, in my case, you know, now a, a good, um, and, and a good prescription may be something that you need. Um, like I said, I, I can only spoke, speak to what I know. Um, and that's why a health professional is so important, but you know, um, other things I do to help battle it throughout the day. Um, I surround my, you know, at work, I'm surrounded by, you know, somewhat positive people. I mean, everybody complains because it's work, but, you know, we all have positive attitudes and, and try to do it right by each other and the customers. Um, when I'm not at work, I find things to get into, to occupy my mind, to, to make myself, you know, ensure my importance 
Because there's, there's days, and some days are worse than others, and most days I can keep it at bay, where, you know, I worry about uh, my self-reliance, you know, or my, my self-being. Why am I here? What, you know, what is my purpose? Am I achieving my goals? Am I living up to other people's expectations and my own? Most importantly, my own. Uh, if you can't live up to your own expectations, then you're never going to live up to other people's expectations. Uh, plus, it makes you look good when you when you get to accomplish things. You know, um, to help ease my mind, I, I garden. You know, that's why we're building this right here. Um, it, this relaxes me. Building things, in my case, relaxes me. Um, I'm down here with my fish. Uh, although, I mean, you can't see them from here, mostly because of the uh, board. But, I mean, like right there is my uh, goldfish tank. Uh, which when the lights are on, I can see them swimming back and forth in that corner. But I can go over to the other side of this wall and sit with my fish. Um, you know, I, I hang out with a dog. I cook. You know, I, I mean, I enjoy cooking, but cooking relaxes me. It, it, it helps me to realize that, you know, I I matter. I that, You know, that I, I, I mean something to, to people, you know, even if it's just my family. Um I do these videos because, you know, well, I mean, for several reasons, one of them being that I want my great, great grandchildren to know about me and, and my thoughts and my struggles and good times and bad, um, which is why I do this on Tuesdays is just to talk, you know, that way, you know, everybody gets to learn about me, you know, um, but staying busy helps me. Music helps me. Um, you know, I, I don't watch a lot of TV because it doesn't really benefit me. But when I do, I mean, I watch a lot of YouTube, but I watch classic movies. You know, um, some of them funny. That helps me take my mind off of things and my thoughts. Um, you know, and sometimes, I mean, just sometimes to help, you know, what helps my depression is just reassurance from friends, having friends, talking to them, hanging out. Um, it makes me feel relevant and important and not so depressed. You know, I, I spent a lot of time, a long time, uh, with the drug and alcohol thing. Um, and it, I, I will be first to tell you, even when I was getting stoned all the time or drinking all the time, I never once had the delusion it was going to take my problems away or solve them. Um, I, I felt that for a long time that it was helping me to manage them better. I don't believe that's altogether true. Um, matter of fact, I, I know it's not true because like I said, you know, I, I thought it was helping me manage them. Well, it was still there. You know, it was just, all it did was give me a vice. Um, now I still enjoy the occasional beer or shot of whiskey, but you know, not very often, not anymore. Um, it's like I grew out of that phase to some extent, but it, I, I had to come to the realization that those things weren't helping me. All they were doing, if nothing else, all they were doing was hurting my body. It was hurting me physically. So I don't recommend if you are battling a form of depression or anxiety that you don't go down that path, um, at least not with like pot smoking um, or excessive drinking. I, and the only reason why I say that, not that I am against pot smoking by any means, um, and I, but I am against excessive drinking. You, it can hurt you physically in the long run. You know, like I know my lungs aren't quite as healthy as they used to be. Smoking cigarettes did not help that, but it used to calm me. It used to help me relax. You know, just even smoking cigarettes. Vapes probably aren't uh, any better. Now, I will say, as far as vaping goes, uh, I, I have set a done with vaping date for uh, my birthday, which is June 9th. Um, and then that way I won't be vaping anymore, smoking, um, anything, tobacco or pot or otherwise, um, which I haven't done either of those in years, but I want to quit vaping because I, I, I know even though it's better for you than cigarettes, it's still not good for you, but you know, I will listen to music. I will listen to old, you know, I'll watch old movies and when listening to music and watching old movies, it takes me back a lot of times to a different time in my life. Um, like when I listen to 
the Bee Gees or the Beatles. It takes me back to when I was a kid. Um, you know, or basically anything from the 70s. Um, it takes me back to my youth. Um, and I can remember good times. Like, one of my favorite things to remember, I, one of a couple is, you know, I had my very first bike. It was a banana seat bike um, made by Huffy, who that was a, 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 oh God, I can't think of his name now. He was a stuntman. Um, but anyhow, it was done in patriotic colors. It was red, white, and blue, Evil Knievel. Um, it was done like Evil Knievel's motorcycle. And it was the bike I learned to ride a bike on. But I remember my dad shoving me down the street with it. And I remember wrecking a few times. And I remember the time I finally got it. Um, I like to, I, I think about like when me and my mom, when uh, I was a kid, we would play cards sitting on the couch. You know, um, it was just me, her, and you know, my sister, my brother was still a baby. You know, and, and times were good. You know, um, I remember, like, the, when I built the ship, I talked about in the about having patience. Um, I, I remember those good times, and all of a sudden I feel a little better. You know, so thinking about the good times, past or present, it's always good. Um, having future plans, um, things to get done, it, that, I know for myself, motivates me to, like, there's no tomorrow. Like, right now I probably got more pokers in the fire than I need. Now, I remember my great aunt Norma always telling me, never have too many pokers in the fire you never get anything accomplished um and to some extent that's true because uh, there are days where i feel like i'm getting nothing done the problem is, is when you have too many pokers in the fire sometimes it can take longer to get anything longer to get anything done uh, like right now i'm trying to build stuff out in the shed i'm trying to get the plants going you know uh, doing the youtube thing which i thoroughly love doing this even though I, I think there's really only about four or five people that truly watch my videos. Um, I mean, it, it, they, the longer they sit, so to speak, the, the more people watch. But, you know, and, and that's fine. I mean, if I, <laughs> to be honest with you, it's probably just my family watching. That's all right. I love them all the same. And that just shows me that they love me. Um, so, but anyhow, poker's in the fire. Um, you know, we got the gar I got the gardening thing going on. I got the wood building thing going on. Um, doing the cooking on Wednesdays uh, with you guys, which I cook more than just Wednesdays. I mean, me and Chris cook a lot. Um, preparing things, doing the canning. Um, and now we got another, well, over the, the month of April, I'll be out at the property. Um, we got to get fencing up. Uh, still got to get the solar panels together. There's a lot going on. I mean, a lot going on. So uh, still gotta find time to shop. We're, we're going to uh, start looking for another vehicle. Um, for those that don't know, uh, our sole car at the moment is an 05 Dodge Magnum, uh, which we've had forever, I, 11, 12 years now. Um, and it is an amazing car even to this day, um, but it's, it's got a lot of miles on it and it's getting tired. so. We need to, to look for another vehicle. So uh, I think I'm going to start looking for a truck so we can start. You know, I, I buy a lot of lumber. Um, I buy a lot of stuff that involves a truck. Um, and the property that we're putting the, the garden at uh, in the L building is my buddy's property is an hour away. So to haul anything out there, we need a vehicle. A lot to do out there. I really can't wait to get out there and start showing you guys what we're doing. Um, we just haven't done a whole lot of anything yet. Uh, work has gotten in the way. And I mean, that's another thing that keeps me busy is work. So, I mean, I, I got plenty to distract me and keep my mind off of it. I just, when I get up in the mornings, you know, I have to remember my self-worth and that, that helps with my depression, you know, because um, my depression really does come from uh, self-worth and value, you know, whether I like it or not. And like I said, I know there's many forms of depression but these are some of the things I do to help me confront mine other than uh, taking a, a prescription. So, I mean, and if that's what works for you, please, please do that. Um, you know, but sometimes music, uh, 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 even a, like they, they make videos now, which is music for sleeping, uh, music for calming. Um, they're kind of like Zen videos. 
Uh, those are great. I use them to calm myself and go to sleep at night. Um, most nights I don't need it. Most nights I'm asleep within like a minute. But occasionally I need that. Um, <clears throat> those are some of the alternatives I use. You know, my fish are a godsend. They help have helped me through some of the toughest times. You know, to be able to just sit back, watch them swim around. They don't really have a care in the world. You know, none of my tanks have, you know... A, I, none of the fish in my tanks have predators or anything like that, you know, that would, you know, that they have to worry about getting eaten. Um, and they always greet me, whether it's just an instinct they have because they know I'm the big blob with the food or not. They all always greet me, and that just makes me feel good. Um, and they're always happy to see me. Yeah, there are times I come home, they're not always happy to see me. Um, at least the people that are upstairs aren't. You know, I may have screwed something up or whatever, but... Or they might be in a bad mood. Fish don't have that kind of ability. You know, they can sense loss, as I talked about in one of my videos like 80 videos ago. Um, they can sense loss when they lose their life partner if that's, you know, the species of fish talking about. They know the loss. They know the pain and grievance. Um, but they're always happy to see me. My dog, Sam, she's always happy to see me. You know, and, and she knows, you know, when I'm in a bad mood, when I'm in a good mood, she can sense it. It's kind of cool. Um, classic movies, Getaway, you know, it might be a temporary, but, you know, it helps me go through the day. Um, but always, always start your morning, if, if for nothing else, always start your morning with, hey, I don't, the world doesn't revolve around me, you know, we revolve together, and I gotta get up and get this day going, you know, I gotta make a difference every day. That's how I help, I, knowing that, knowing and trying to make a difference in the world is is a good way to start the day so say you have a bad day and something tragic happens you know um or you just uh you just had a bad day mood's been off you know people have been mean you know I, hell i talk to 100 people a day you're bound to run into those days where you find a few mean ones versus non-mean ones um <clears throat> Don't take it personal and know tomorrow's going to be completely different. You can't have good days without bad days. You know, that's just the fact of life. You know, so you sh you write off that bad day and you know tomorrow when you get up, it's going to be a good day. That's the important thing. All right. So I hope all that helps. Um, I really do. But, you know, like I said, We've been talking about um, depression and anxiety, you know, for a, for a minute now uh, amongst my little group at work. And I wanted to share what I do to um, at least battle my depression. Um, anxiety, I learned to control anxiety no matter what it is by just kind of tugging on my shirt going, all right, I'm the best at this. I can do this. We can get through this. You know, um, basically I, I have the constant thought in my head that I'm the top dog, you know, and it enables me to do anything. And I learned it's okay to screw up, you know, um, and that's how we learn, you know, so to have anxiety over it, it's like when you, you know, you use a saw for the first time, you go slow, you're cautious, your heart's beating a little fast, you know, because you've never used that tool before, you know, and you're, you don't want to screw it up, but it's okay if you do screw it up. That's part of learning, you know, and you know, when your heart starts racing, you just do it. One good cut, the first cut, right or wrong, the anxiety starts to leave. Your confidence starts to grow. And it's like that with anything you do. Brand new job, you know, awesome. That's how you get a you know, I, good God, every job I've ever started, you know, uh, as far as employment goes, first day, nervous wreck. I remember, um, best story I've got off the top of my head right now. So when I first started with the pizza company I work for now, I had 20 some years of restaurant experience under my belt before I, I even started with them. And yet... 13 weeks in when I had, or no, wait, 13 weeks, 10 weeks in when I had finished my management training um, for the company, 
I got to run my first shift. And my first shift was a Friday night at a pizza shop. Now, I don't know if many of you know about the pizza industry. Sorry, that light is really working my nerves. But in the pizza industry, Friday nights are crazy. Everybody orders pizza on Friday nights. I, it's just absolutely unbelievably crazy. So here I am. I've got all this management, previous management experience. Yeah, I've never run a pizza shop, and I've surely never run a solo shift before in a pizza shop on a Friday night. My heart wanted to beat out of my chest. I was sweating like there was no tomorrow. But you know what I did? I, at the time, I still smoked. So I walk out back, I smoke a cigarette, and I said, Brian, you are Brian Smith. You got this. Can't nobody do it better. You know, and I took some deep breaths. You know, I, I, and I smoked a cigarette, but don't start that habit if you, if you don't smoke. But, and after a couple hits off that cigarette, after telling, reminded myself that I'm Brian Smith and I can do anything. My chest felt a little better. My heart was beating a little regular. And I walked in the door and I owned it. I basically looked at her. I looked at, you know, my clothes and I said, here, hold my beer. Yeah, so to speak. I didn't really hold, tell him to hold my beer. But, you know, it was, hold my beer. I got this. You know, and I made that shift mine. And then it, it, after, you know, an hour or two of butt kicking, giving direction, and, you know, I, I remember... You know, I really can do this. You know, you, you, you've got to have confidence. Confidence is something that's not natural, you know, at least not to most people. You got to you got to build it up. You got to learn. You got to nurture your confidence. Um, it's important. Maybe we'll talk about confidence uh, down the road. There's a couple of things I want to talk about down the road. But today was, you know, depression and anxiety day because I, I feel those are something we need to talk about. I would like to know. Maybe it's something I can do some research on is what causes, I, I, I don't remember until now or well, in recent times, what, what has caused so much depression? I know some of it in adults, you know, and, and some children has been the pandemic over the last year, you know, being locked in, not being able to go anywhere, do anything. Humans by nature are very social, you know, get out and go type people. Um, even if it's just into the village, so to speak. Uh, so I, I think that has hindered us some, yeah, or a lot for that matter. But I, even before the pandemic hit, I, I noticed it in our teenagers, you know, and, and I'm wondering what causes that. Uh, one thought that comes to mind real quick. Um, I won't be too much longer because we are uh, almost half hour into this. I, I think part of it is um, families working that have two working parents and the parents aren't home. There's a lot of things that parents should teach and I'm sure would love to teach if they didn't have to work so many hours a week and be away from their children as much, you know, because it, it wasn't always that way. <clears throat> you know, there was a, a, a time when, you know, the mom stayed home for the most part and the dad went to work and the mom was always there to coach and develop nowadays i mean there are some exceptions nowadays but for the most part both parents work you know me and chris both work we're just lucky at chris's home she gets to work from home and i'm the one that has to go out to work but i know there are some where the dad stays home i know there's some where the mom stays home but for the most part, I, I think both parents go to work or it's a single uh, parent, mom or dad, that, you know, there's only so much time to teach. And I think that's one of the things that confidence, confidence building and being there to pick them up, and dust them off um, and reminding your child, you know, that they're worth something. Yeah, whether it's, a, I'm sure none of that's intentional, but to remind them of the, their self-worth, I think is the reason why we we are struggling with the 
I, I don't want to say epidemic or battle, because good God, those two words seem to be just beat into the ground with everything. There's a war on everything, and everything is an epidemic. Um, but I, I think that's what's causing some of this to happen. You know, um, self-worth is a taught trait, and I don't think there's enough teaching of that going on. I think it's getting lost in the background. But anyhow, that's all I got to say about that at the moment. And, you know, it, depression can be very personal, but don't make it personal. You know, talk about it. It'll make you feel better. Lord knows I talk about it all the time. You know, um, and it can be seasonal. You, you know, there are times when you may feel better, you know, winter's real common for depression. Um, summer seems to be a little better. The, the sun and the sunshine and, you know, the cool breeze of spring and fall, always seeing the smell of leaves. Um, at least those seem to make me feel a little better. But I know depression can be, well, depression is all the time. Okay. Um but it can hit you harder. It can be any time. It could be all the time in some form, but it seems to crop out and be more prevalent at certain times of the year. Um, at least in my case. So that, that could be, I don't know, but anyhow, I love you guys very much. Um, and I would never want to, you know, see you bottle something up. You know, so I am always available to talk to, you know, if you need that. Um, and that goes for any of my subscribers. Uh, you can always look me up on Facebook. You can, you know, message me on Messenger. Um, and if it's something really serious, message me and I'll give you a call. We can just talk, you know, person to person, you know, or if you have my number, give me a call. You know, I'm always there for, you know, anybody if I can help, because I would like to think there are people there for me. I know there are people there for me. Um, so, but that's, that, that's pretty much the end of my rant for today. Um, give you something to think about, you know, um, if you're feeling down or uncertain, try some music, try an old movie, um, hobbies or something to get into are always good. Pets are awesome. You know, um, but talk to somebody about it. That's the important thing. You know. Start down that path. It's not going to fix itself. Um, you, you have to talk to somebody and you have to figure out how to deal with it or, you know, maintain it at any rate. Um, <laughs> Bruce Banner said in one of the Avenger movies, um, the Hulk, he, he said, do you know how I don't become the Hulk? It's by staying angry all the time. He did, <laughs> which I thought was great, but it's, it, it's kind of the same thing. That's how he manages his Hulk. You know, um, depression can be, could be your Hulk. Um, and you just got to figure out a way to manage it, whether it's through medication uh, or any of the things I just mentioned. Um, the only way you're going to find out is to start by talking. You know, um, health professional, if you're under the, you know, if you're young, talk to your parents. Then they can help you get that health professional and figure out where to go from there. All right. It's just important. You know, I don't want to see anybody depressed. I know every day is not sunshine and lollipops, but. That doesn't mean we can't try to make it that way. All right. I am going to go upstairs, water the plants, um, keep working on my greenhouse. I hope you guys got something out of this and, um, and carry it with you. Let me know if you want to talk, um, you know, or if there's anything I could do to help you, even if it's just a, a kind ear. All right. I love you. Tell somebody else you love them. It will make their day a whole lot better. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have fun. Bye.